The Afrobarometer survey released today indicates that 69% of Ugandans still feel that corruption has increased over the past year, while 16% think it has decreased over the past year. 9% still think that corruption has stayed the same. Much as there are systems in place, much as efforts are being made, people are getting more and more sophisticated, and the corruption we are looking at right now is of a different scale and magnitude. It's very different from that of 2002. According to the report, the police is perceived as the most corrupt institution at 68%, while tax officials and government officials come second with 48%. Judges and magistrates are in third place with 45%, while business executives are in the fourth with 40%. Local government councillors are in the fifth, followed by members of parliament at 39%. People had high hopes in Nainas Parliament in 2012 and 2011, but today it's a different question altogether. What has been happening in the last uh, two years, especially after February, passage of some resolutions in, in Changkwan? It, it's a bit challenging that the institutions that should be at the helm, or the institutions that government has put in place to help us fight corruption, still rank highly when you look at the judges and magistrates. Although police is still perceived as the most corrupt according to the report, trust in the police has grown from 50 to 56 percent from 2002 to 2015. According to the survey, trust in the president has also increased from 59 to 79 percent from 2002 to 2015. We've seen the president handing out brown envelopes. We've seen the president carrying or moving with sacks of money. Now, for the ordinary person, this is something for them that is going to help them. For them, they would look at such an act as something that is actually helping them to meet their needs. Which, when you look at the bigger picture, it isn't. Because where is this money coming from and how is this money going to be used to improve service delivery? The Round 6 Afrobarometer survey in Uganda was conducted between May 8th and 26th this year. It involved 2,400 adults distributed across five regions comprising Kampala Central, West, North and East. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.